What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another episode of Chargers Franchise. This is week number three. Now, we just got absolutely schlacked by the Kansas City Chiefs, 58-21. to It was not a good time. So if you're going to watch an episode, definitely watch week one. Maybe skip week two. You know, that would, be, that would be the overall recommendation. But today, we have the Carolina Panthers. We are at home, back at whatever stadium we're in. What stadium do we play in again? I, I forget. Yeah, just give me give me two, two seconds. SoFi Stadium. Yeah, we're at home at SoFi Stadium. I knew that. I was just testing to see if you guys knew that. But anyway, like and subscribe if you guys are new. We have a fantasy football draft coming up tomorrow night if you guys are new. We do still have some spots available. It is a sub-league, so if you guys are into that, figured I'd put that on a football video rather than a baseball video. But... There you go. If you guys are into that, link to that is in the description. But without me talking anymore, let's let's get into it. Now we have some scouting available. I think I want to do that after the games, and we'll do this the games first. I think that's probably the move. We have Tom Brady next week, so that could be quite fun if we're being honest. But let's let's get into the video. Also, while we're doing this, we're gonna wear the uh, yellow pants. I'm feeling yellow pants today. I think that'd be like what the alternate maybe. Oh, this is or why is there so many uniform options? I just want the that one, yeah. Here's the 2020 draft class for about the 15th time in three games. But yeah, we're drafting at eight o'clock on Tuesday night. That's eight p.m. Central, as Kenneth Murray's already being a monster. It's 8 p.m. Central on Tuesday night, so if you guys can make it, that'd be great. I'm thinking about streaming it, but that's enough self-promotion. We've already allowed a first down, which is just awful news. Uh, we're going to stop McCaffrey. We're not, though. It's a tough scene. We kind of stopped him. We can only hope to contain him. Bridgewater avoids a sack until Kenneth Murray gets to him. And Kenneth Murray has been all over the field today already. His third tackle. He's digging the yellow pants. He's like, I can pee freely and no one's going to know. And he, so far he's taken full advantage of that. So we're getting that underneath. It's Kenneth Murray again. He's on fire today. It's fourth and nine. Here comes Herbert. We'll look at his stats. They haven't been great. One TD with four picks is just not incredible. Uh, but we're going to try to be a little bit better than that today, to be completely honest. I feel like that's the move. Be a little bit better than what we have been, because we've been pretty bad. That throws pretty good, though, to Hunter Henry, who's going to gain about 17. Easiest 17 yards of his life. Someone may have been open there. I just flat out didn't see it. That might be decent. That might be a really good punt. That's going to be downed at the four. What a punt. Second best punter on YouTube. Kenneth Murray's an animal. He just he looks like he died there underneath the pile. But he's been involved in almost every defensive play. And I am a big fan of it. Bridgewater underneath is hit hard by Derwin James. We're going to force him to punt here from deep in their own end zone. A defensive battle so far. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. Egbule probably is how you say that. Or Egbul. But so far we are chilling right now. As King is going to return it to their 45. So that's really good field position for us. we got to capitalize on this. Eckler up the middle gains like six. Yeah, we're doing we're doing decently right now. Like we're not murdering anybody. We're not out here like killing it. But we are holding our own right now. Especially defensively, as that's gonna be open to Williams who drops it. Because of course he does. Why would you want to hang on to a ball that's right in your hands? In your hit after you catch the ball already? I don't understand. That's open to read, though. That's underneath. That's that drag route that seems to work really well. I think I've decided we're just going to run it. Because it's not like a big play. Oh, that's wide open to Keenan Allen. Stay in bounds, dude. All right, we did it. We're accomplishing things. Things are being accomplished. 
He had a big week last week. We're looking to improve on that this week. Snap a handoff to Eckler up the middle. Gains about five. That's pretty good. It's decent. We're doing all right. Oh, they're sending the house. Eckler's by himself. Eckler to the end zone. A touchdown. We got super lucky with that screen call, and it worked to perfection. Because they were sending the house, and nobody was on Eckler, who was just by himself in the flat. And we'll take the touchdown on that all day. 7 nothing Chargers if he makes this. He does. 7 nothing Chargers and a flag. Okay, so we get to kick from the 50 because roughing the kicker is OP this year. We're going to try to kick it through the field goal uprights. I don't know if he did or not. That was not a great angle, but that's fine. Uh, maybe I should have, like, pooched it and made him return it. I don't know what the play there is. We'll just we'll take the touchback. Bridgewater fumbles the ball. Derwin James picks it up. And he's down at about the 27. I don't know what he did. He just he fumbled. And Derwin James is on his way. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy play. I don't know. I guess he just didn't want to slide, but he did fumble, and we'll take that all day. We're going to hand it off to Eckler here. Big hole. There's no reason for me to throw it here, but I'm really, really tempted to throw it. I don't know. I feel like I should just share that with you guys so you can, like, help me emotionally through this difficult time. Because it, it is a difficult time for me right now. I say as I'm about to just wind up and throw the ball. Keenan Allen's wide open. That's a touchdown for the Chargers. Justin Herbert's coming out party, baby. Keenan Allen broke wide open. They tried to press him, and it did not work. So we'll take a touchdown all day on that one. I'm going to try to force a return here. Is this smart? Probably not. Oh, that's perfect. Caught at the one. And we stop him inside the 20. That was absolutely picture perfect. Back hand off to McCaffrey with a lot of space, which is never good for anybody. Except for Carolina, obviously. That's kind of what you're striving for when you give the ball to McCaffrey, but regardless. Uh oh, this is a horrible decision here. He was he had that post route wide open. Throws it quick. It's caught. DJ Moore, I believe that is, for a first down. All right, Carolina's kind of driving here. I'm kind of glad we got that turnover to get us a little bit of extra wiggle room. But right now, man, it is tough. All right, to this point through the first quarter, we're, we're done with the first quarter, but we are getting brutally murdered right now in this particular drive, which is things that you just hate to see. So, hopefully that stops, because I would love to be able to stop them. Oh, he almost had a touchdown there to DJ Moore, but we hit him as he threw. Causing an accurate pass. It's going to be second and goal here. The goal here is just get them to kick a field goal. Save the four points. Clog up rushing lanes. Clog up passing lanes. Like a bad drain or something. You just, you got to. I don't know what I'm doing. I got distracted because I was trying to guard the middle there with uh, Kenneth Murray. It doesn't matter though. We get them to you throw it away. So that's always a plus. They're going to get points here, though. It is 14-3 as we hand it off to Eckler. We're doing okay right now. It's not the best thing you've ever seen. It's by any means. 
but it is fine. We're gonna have somebody open over here. We like we have to. If nobody's open, we're gonna throw it away, and it's gonna be intentional grounding, dude. That's great. Back Henry makes the catch and gets a big first down. Third and 23. He was running wide open and made a spectacular catch. Not really. He made a catch, though. It, it is good enough for a first down. So we'll take that every single day of the week. And twice on Sunday as that throws incredible. Did he catch that? That was an impressive throw. Which we'll take. You would take that. That throws there to Williams. We're picking apart Carolina right now. It's so good. I'm really happy with how this game is going to this point. That back handoff, Eckler. A penalty flag is down again. Is this going to be face mask? It is. All right, we need to turn the face mask slider down. That's next episode, face mask slider is coming down. Because that's like, there's like one a game. And it's just too much. I feel like at best it should be like one every two or three weeks. Herbert slings it out of bounds. Third and ten. The play we just ran did not work well at all. So we're going to hopefully look to make that be a little bit better. As that throw is just awful. Um, the accuracy is just not there from Herbert. We're gonna just going to take the points here, hopefully. That was a sick kick by me right down the middle. 17 to 3. Kenneth Murray, man, is unbelievable. He is so good. He is so good right now. We're back. Bridgewater's going to roll out. And he's going to get a. He's going to get close to the first down. He's not quite going to get it, I don't think. Yeah, he's like two yards short. So that's fine. Bridgewater again. He's running like, like uh, Usain Bolt. Running like he's Usain Bolt. Yeah, sick joke, Josh. It's, uh, it's a crazy good joke. Okay, we are going to have to start spying. Bridgewater, he fumbles again. Harris picks it up. Bridgewater is running with the ball, and he is fumbling with the ball. And we are taking full advantage of it. Because it's just not working right now. It is just absolutely not working right now. Eckler tried to make a move there. It just didn't work. On behalf of our defense, we are creating turnovers. Oh, that's wide open to Eckler over the middle. We'll take that. On behalf of our defense, we are creating turnovers. And if our offense is doing well, we're going to... It score on him, but we're gonna have to just start scoring on him. That's completed somehow to Henry. We'll take that, I guess. I mean, the flat's wide open there to read. We're finding the open receivers a ton better than we were last week. Just a ton better. Which you would take. Henry, down and out at like the three. I was hoping he's going to score there because now all the windows get super tiny, but we'll take that. We'll take that down at the three. Yeah, Herbert's sack there at the 15. I, that's just not a good sack there by me. Not a good sack take by me at all, but... <sighs> yeah. Look, it's not my fault. I look like a debilitated spider trying to run away from a washing machine at the moment. 
it's just bad and Herbert's just not locating a lot of these passes at all which is not helping a ton but like we're still winning so I'm not complaining but like it could be so much better than it is right now in a lot of ways we're gonna throw it up 50 50 ball to Keenan Allen is incomplete yeah that's tough did I have anybody else open and maybe I didn't really look because that ball is going to Keenan Allen from before the snap we'll take a 20 to 3 lead though oh no <laughs> McCaffrey's by himself Derwin James makes a heck of a stop though because in open space I thought that was a touchdown for sure but it was not so we will happily take anything short of a touchdown on that that's wide open he's gonna run out of bounds that's fine our defense I feel like outside of creating turnovers is unable to stop anybody despite the fact we have three points but that's just like Bridgewater's fumbled twice Oh, Bozo missed the sack. Are you kidding me? And they're throwing it over the middle again. Oh, that's incomplete, though. Heck of a pass breakup. We are just running right past the quarterback as he's going to find DJ Moore over the middle. Yeah, we are just running right past the quarterback, and it is awful in every sense of the word. Bridgewater's throw is caught. Same play. Oh, they throw it to the flat this time. It doesn't quite get in. The two-yard line. I don't know why I said that so funny. I said, like, Caillou, maybe. Yeah, two-yard line. We got to make a stop. It's play action. That is horrible news, but it's not because we get the sack. We sent the house, and it worked. That kick's going to be good. Drops back. I've taken a shot. It's picked off. That's horrible news. That's on me. That's on me. Herbert's made some bad throws, but that was just a horrible decision by me. So that's, that's my bad. That's a heck of a pass breakup. stopped McCaffrey third down I think they called a timeout before I did they definitely did if we get the punt back I wouldn't mind getting I don't know maybe I'd just like time run out but that's caught they are out of timeouts though so we're actually in like not an awful spot unless they spike it which maybe they will. I mean, it's gonna time's gonna run out. Yeah. All right. That's that's halftime. Pretty good first half. Twenty to six. We did throw that careless interception there at the end, but I was trying to make something happen. So, not a horrible first half though. All right. Here comes the mayor of halfback Slamville. Eric Decker. That's not his name. Austin Eckler. I don't know where Eric Decker came from. That's probably the name of a real person that I'm just not thinking of. But uh, yeah, Austin Eckler and Eric Decker, not the same person. That was a horrible decision, but it's going to work out, I guess. Heck of a catch. Yeah, you know what? That was calculated. I don't want to hear anything about that not being calculated because that was the most calculated thing I've probably ever done on this channel. That's intercepted, though. That was just horrible decision making. And that might be a pick six. Nope, it won't be. Yeah, that was just not good, though. The route was undercut. I should have taken the sack. I didn't want to. But uh, that's what happens. If we could force another fumble here, that would be elite. Like, truly. Will that happen? I don't think so. But. Like, maybe. That's a big start, though. Nuosu. His second sack of the day. Alright, now we just gotta close down all these windows and we should be chilling. That's caught by DJ Moore. He's short. Jeez. Alright, we're cutting it close here, but 
We're making stops, so. Jeez. All right. Here's what we're going to do here, actually. We're going to, like, play man, because I feel like a fake is imminent from the one. Oh, they don't fake it. All right. They just kick the field goal. All right. This one, we're going to return. Was that worth it? I don't think it was. All right. It just it basically just burned time off the clock. That's fine. You know, sometimes you just you gotta take chances and make the same mistake about five times, and that's why we keep throwing the ball, and why we keep returning the ball out of our own end zone. So there you go. All right, we're gonna try a read option. I feel like I'm feeling very very good about a read option here. Oh, it worked. Block for me, Hunter Henry. Okay, that's fine. The first down with Herbert. He, he ran the read at Oregon a little bit. We're going to run it here in L.A. Eckler. Not to be confused with Decker. I don't know. I think just like the X sound and the er sound. It, it's all very confusing to me. It's not a fan. Yeah, just have your name sound less like each other. Oh, I had everybody was wide open on that play. We're just going to take off and get the first down, though. I mean, everybody broke open, but I was not committed to running it, but I was not in a good spot to throw it. So I just decided to run it, which we'll take. We'll take that all day. Eckler gains nine. Sure, I'm glad he handed the ball off there on that RPO because I didn't have a clue. <laughs> I didn't have any idea where that, that ball was supposed to go. Okay, so something I've learned here the halfback wham play is like the Bill Cosby of offensive plays, it just doesn't work. Don't bring it around. It's horrible. Hide your women. Hide your children. It does not work. We're going to get an intentional grounding here because I panicked through it away. I got to stop doing that, man. That's like my second of the night, maybe. I feel like I've done that a lot. Why is that throw so high? It's caught by Keenan Allen. It doesn't matter. The throw floated. But Keenan Allen made the, a great catch for a first down. I don't understand why that throw floated as the Ravens are 0-2. Is that a real thing? That's amazing. I didn't think that was ever going to happen. I don't know why that throw floated so bad to Keenan Allen, but we will absolutely take the result. As that was just... Everything was going horribly. I thought that was going to be a pick. But alas. Okay, we got to get offensive line help like yesterday. Maybe we just start trading people for offensive linemen. We're going to throw that just in the general direction of Reed. We have no time to throw, and I'm not picking up the blitz very well. But, like, we just don't have any time to throw, so it doesn't even matter. Kick here by Badgley is going to be good from 49. We'll take that all day. From the logo. We'll take it. <laughs> Dude, Bridgewater is running like there is no tomorrow. He's 6 for 76. Like, are you kidding me? And we have not had an answer for it, except for make him fumble a couple of times. But it has been not great for us, as we're going to stop McCaffrey there. Bridgewater actually has more rushing yards, I believe, than McCaffrey. So we'll actually take that, but like most of Bridgewater's plays come on a pretty good defense, and then he's just making something happen on a broken play. McCaffrey is like designed runs, so like... McCaffrey, I feel pretty good about. Bridgewater, I'm very frustrated he has as many rushing yards as he does. A 
like that. Like, are you kidding me? This is how we're awarding rushing yards. Seven for 97 from Teddy Bridgewater. The two-gloved quarterback. I don't know how I just noticed that. That's frustrating. Uh, that was athletic. Third and four. Can we force another field goal? I would love to be able to. He made that. He hung on to that. Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. How does he hang on to that? But we can't hang on to it anything remotely resembling a catch and a hit like right after the play okay this is going horribly but at the same time it's probably fine all right here we go 23 to 9 McCaffrey's wide open in the flat to start the fourth quarter not things that you love to see it's things actually that you don't like to see at all, unless you're a Panthers fan. Which would be mildly unfortunate, because I don't know why you'd be watching this video. Because we're doing Chargers franchise. I guess we would be playing the Panthers though, so. Welcome, Panther fans. Like, late into the video. McCaffrey tried to bounce it outside, didn't work. Kenneth Murray, man, is devouring people. He is killing people right now. As Bridgewater throws it out of the back of the end zone. So we're going to force another field goal here. Which is huge because that means it's still a two score game, I believe. Rather than it being just a one score game. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right, we're going to throw. We're actually not. I thought better of it. I was going to say we're going to throw here because why not? But I know why not because we're going to throw a pick six and make it interesting. I want this game to be very boring. I want this to be boring, but in like the other way that it was last last episode. Last episode was just awful. This episode hopefully is better on a lot of different levels. Uh, Eckler trips. Are you kidding me? Come back to the ball, Keenan. He, he kind of didn't, but we'll take the catch. 202 is not the worst thing you've ever seen from Herbert. Two touchdowns, but two picks. It's not the worst thing you've ever seen. The day's not over. But it's fine. Third and five here. I'm going to let a lot of time milk off the clock here. I feel like I should in the best interest of the team. This is a team play. Keenan Allen's open in the flat. Get the first down, dude. He did. I don't know why I went out of bounds. I wasn't thinking. I should have stayed inbounds, but we'll take the first down. It doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that play went absolutely horribly. Third and six. Snap back. Herbert, first down. Let's go, boys. Let's go, baby. And nobody was super open on that play, especially with Herbert's limited accuracy today for whatever reason. Not that Herbert's the most accurate quarterback of all time, but I didn't really feel comfortable trying to thread it downfield to Hunter Henry, who maybe was open. It just didn't feel like that was a thing that was going to happen. So instead, we did it with our legs. Here's Jackson, who gets about three. Snap back. Herbert's got Keenan Allen right in front of him for a touchdown to extend the lead. We'll take that all day. 440 to get play. Keenan Allen is finally in the zone. Oh, that was almost blocked. Somebody should block that guy next time we have a field goal attempt. Uh, 
So you made a, a heck of a juke on Kenneth Murray, but that's fine. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater, to the game's credit, I feel like is running about as often as Teddy Bridgewater would in real life. So, maybe hashtag realism, I guess? I don't know. Third and two. Drops back. Bridgewater's going to run. And he gets there. Kenneth Murray kind of ups and ends him, but it was not in time. Bridgewater's averaging like 10 yards a rush, uh, which is super frustrating, but that's fine. Kenneth Murray on the stop. Look at that grass. And then we're going to show the defensive tackles thing that rhymes with grass that I'm not going to say on YouTube but it rhymes with ass good stop by Kenneth Murray he's going to run again yep slides in front of Casey Hayward so bright side here I think it's a three score game it is a three score game because we're up 18 so I think the game is pretty much in hand, barring something spectacular happening at like that, because that's an incredible throw by Teddy Bridgewater. Um, yeah, that was a sick throw. What a catch. Snap back. And that's a touchdown. Minute 28 to play. It's a garbage time touchdown. It sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, I forgot to onside kick. Coverage. Somebody recover it, please. Thank you, Gilman. Yeah, I forgot onside kicking was a thing that happens in football, so I decided uh, for whatever reason not to try to guard against that. But it's fine, because it worked out. It worked out. It's all good. We're chilling. Oh, what a block. Eckler up the middle. Got like nine. Did he get a first down? He did. That's unfortunate. And then do it as Eckler's up the middle again. Timeout again. I'm trying to get rushing yards and then kneel. I don't know if he got the first down on that, to be honest. Oh, Balaga's injured. Don't be serious. Please don't be serious. That's going to suck if that's serious. He's going to the locker room. That doesn't mean a ton because it's only like a minute 15 left, but like you don't love to see it. Third and inches here. First down effectively ends the game. We're going to put it in the hands of Herbert, who's got Keenan Allen right there. We'll take that all day. He's got a strained bicep. That's probably fine. We're just going to kneel it out. That seems like the move. Pretty good game by us. Pretty good game. We went 30 to 19. We'll nail the last play out. Pretty good game. Pretty good game by us. We're going to see what they do here at the end of the game. I thought that Herbert played pretty well. He was good when he needed to be. Overall, I would say. He didn't do anything incredibly stupid. Keenan Allen had a pretty decent day, though. I will say Bridgewater had a difficult day. Yeah, I mean, it was really Keenan Allen's day. I think he played pretty well. We had 201 passing yards, which is way more than Carolina had by a lot. I mean, don't bother looking at the stats. Just take my word for it. Let's look at the stats here for a minute before we go back. I mean, Herbert was fine. He was 18 for 28, so not like the most accurate of all time. But he threw for 222. He had three touchdowns, two picks. We got to get the pick number down, man. I don't know if it's my decision making, which it for sure is, but I don't know if it is, you know. I'm trying to maintain dignity here or what the problem is, but it's not good. We need to stop that like yesterday. All right, and we get some skill point upgrades. So let's do the important ones that I feel like are going to be good, like Derwin James. What do you really need here with Superstar X-Factor? Maybe like 
as a safety, like the zone might be kind of good. Yeah, like probably zone. I don't know. We'll do hybrid, bump him up. Brian Balaga is here. We're gonna go pass protector because my god is our pass protection bad. That gets him up to a 90, or an 89, excuse me, not a 99. Brian Balaga is good, not that good. Mike Williams continues to upgrade, which is great. He's at star development, which is really good. I kinda think, I don't know, what do you, what do you need? We'll just go with the scheme fit. It gets him up to an 82 overall. And he's going to upgrade a lot. Acceleration awareness, catch and traffic, catch, change of direction, release, and speed. So no deep route running. That sucks. And then Kenneth Murray. Do we get a thing on him? We're 12 plays away, dude. That's super frustrating. We're 12 plays away from knowing. If we hadn't gotten those two turnovers, it would have been sick. But uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. So what do we need? He's a right outside linebacker. I feel like he's pretty good as a middle linebacker though. I don't know. I don't know. He needs like help in zone, but he's, yeah. I think what I want him to be, he's just a freak athlete. I think we just want him to be good at zone coverage, to be honest. And we'll move him over to middle linebacker. feels like that's gonna be what we do. The logic here is we play a 4-3. Um, he's not rushing the quarterback very much at all. So even though the scheme fit is power rusher, it's just not what he's good at and not what we're really using him for at this point. So we're going to bump up the pass coverage a little bit. Is that a good move? I don't know. Awareness, tackle, zone coverage, like all of that's fine. We're using him anyway. Maybe we should have just gone for whatever gave him speed, but 88 speed as a linebacker is not even that bad. And then the last one we'll do here is Nasir Adderley. Would love to get him, like, reasonable, maybe, would be even good. I don't know, like, zone? Is there any kind of zone upgrade that we can give him? Probably that one. Gets him to a 72 overall. Plus three awareness, not my favorite thing to see. And we'll see. All right, so this is what we're doing. Let's go take a look here at the league. We're 2-1, the Chiefs are 1-1, but I don't think they've played their game yet or finished it in the sim or whatever. So we're definitely going to offer on Boza. I think that's going to be a fair play like for sure, and we have some money as well. I think we have a fair bit of money. We're going to bump the offer here just to make sure he's back with us. Um, yeah, we're overpaying a little bit, but like... I feel like that's fine. Just need to improve the bonus now. Okay. And Kian Allen. Would that be fine? What? Do you, how do you feel about that? That's exactly the offer. I'm in. Kian Allen's back long term. I feel pretty good about that. We'll deal with uh, Desmond King maybe next week. Let's go take a look at scouting. Actually, yeah, we'll go take a look at scouting. All right, so in this draft class, we need left guard and left tackle and probably center in a bad way. Um, and like a receiver, I feel like, would be decent. And then on the defensive side of the ball, like a safety. Yeah, I mean, realistically, just a safety would be fun. All right, we're... I mean, that's just not a great sign for what's to come. I feel like this may just be an awful lineman round from what I'm seeing. All of these centers look awful. Yeah, right guard is awful. Right tackle, though. Yeah, this is just a horrible lineman round. That's what we're figuring. Oh, that guy's undrafted? Jesus. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. We need lineman, safety, linebacker, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you guys did make it this far. Make sure you comment the word dolphin, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.